Hello and welcome to Security. This is Eze, and today I'm going to be talking about how I passed the AWS Security Specialty SCS C01 exam. So, as I'm sure you know, AWS has announced that in July they are going to be retiring this exam to a new version. But I'm just going to give you my tips on how I studied for this version, and I'm sure I'm certain basically that it sh it should also help you for the new version as well. So here I'm going to be covering what I used as my study material. I'm also going to be talking about the study strategy and um, also some other tips that can help you as well. For this exam, but basically it's the same strategy I've used for almost all the certification exams I've written so far. And um, yeah, if this sounds like it's going to be something that's helpful to you, um, keep watching. And you can like and subscribe to support supporting the channel as well. And um, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the study material I used. The first thing, of course, is the exam guide, which shows you um, what to expect from the exam, basically. So to pull up the exam guide, you can just go to Google and search for the AWS Security Specialty Exam Guide. You can see the um, certification, the main page for certification right here, where you can schedule an exam. But you can also scroll down and download the exam guide. And here we have basically what is covered in the certification, um, who the target candidate description, the exam content as well, which is the most important, obviously. So you see the exam um, has two types of questions, the multiple choice questions and also multiple response questions. And um, you also see the domains of um, the five, the five domains are covered in the exam and the percentages and um, also you see a, a more detailed breakdown of the domains here and also the services and the features are, are covered in the exam and finally you see the out of scope AWS services those are the ones that you don't have to um, basically worry about covering. Secondly, I used the Udemy course, which is AWS Certified Security Specialty by Chandra Lingam. I just pulled it up as well to show you. And as you can see, it's, um, very, it's a very highly rated course. Yeah, and he continuously updates the course basically and um, yeah, like I said uh, in my last video, um, the security specialty exam is gonna be is gonna be changed to a new version soon. But I expect him to also update his course because he keeps updating. And, and um, yeah, uh, for as for like when you're getting any course on Udemy, you don't have to pay um, the pri the current price. You can wait till when they're doing one of their very frequent deals or promotions and you can get the course for a cheaper price yeah so yeah you can go to since i already got the course you can go to it and like as you can see covers it has a lot of um sections one what i really like about the course is the fact that it has like a refresher for um vpc has a refresher for ec2 for cloudwatch so for someone like me that i already I already did my um, um, solutions architect exam a while back it was actually good to go through these um, classes or these refreshers and um, just get, get like a reminder of anything, some few things that maybe might have skipped my mind or I haven't worked this in, in a bit so doing that before going into um, the main um, focus of of the security specialty exam, which is the I am the um, organizations, the, also the protect and manage resources part in KMS as well. So it yeah and um, yeah another thing another thing is the quizzes after every 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 section as well to test your knowledge, and um, that was something that really I really liked as well and I think was really helpful and. Um, 
yeah mm -hmm. finally the practice test as well i did the practice test um at the end and um yeah this was uh, i think this was my second attempt and yeah my, yeah my first attempt i got 80 percent and my second attempt i got a 95 percent and i did this just a day before the exam and um yeah that's the course Thirdly, I also got practice questions from WIS Labs, and these practice questions were very helpful, extremely helpful to me actually, because they had um, a lot of questions and also for full practice exams that I could do, I could do, and also I could do and repeat and also get it, uh, corrections as well. And yeah, this is something that I highly, highly recommend. So we can take a look as well. So this is the AWS Certified Security Specialty Practice Test Bondu from Wiz Labs. Um, I got the practice questions. I didn't. I did not get the course or the labs or any other thing. I just got the practice practice test from Wiz Labs because I already did the course on Udemy. So it comes with a free test and um, also four full practice tests and um, four. Um, section test as well. So first thing I did was I did this section test twice, and um, for for KMS for Active Directory, I am and Web, um, WAF. So I did those tests twice, just to kind of like get familiar with them. I also did the free test as first twice. Yeah. So after doing the free test and the section test, then I did the practice exams, and as you can see, I did three attempts for each of them. So last but not least, I also use the AWS white papers and uh, these three white papers of, um, we have emphasized in the AWS course I did. So what I did was I really kind of just used them as a refer reference. I, not, I didn't really read them very um, enthusiastically or something, but I just first of all skimmed through them and also used them as a reference for so if I needed to get more understanding of any, any um, or a better explanation of any topic. So yeah, this was the study material I used. So you can just basically Google AWS Write Papers and you can you get a link to this page that talks about AWS Write Papers and Guides. And um, you can see, select the checkbox here to see all the ones I have to do with security. Uh, like I said, um, from the Udemy course I did, these three were basically emphasized to at least came through. And that's what I did. And also use them for reference. Okay, so now to study strategy. The first thing I did was, of course, look at the exam guide to see what is expected from the exam and what I'm expected to know um, before I sit for the exam. And next I went to the Udemy course um, and I went through all the videos. I watched the videos uh, for the topics I was already familiar with, watch them at um, 1.5x to 2x speed. And those are our lanes that were kind of like relatively new to me. I used the uh, 1.25x speed. So just quickly watching through, going through the videos, and of course, doing all the um, quizzes at the end of each section to test my knowledge and also checking out, checking out the corrections at the end. So what I did at first was I kind of just watched the videos for the labs. And I didn't perform them. But after after going through the whole course, I went back to basically do the labs. I don't know. That was just a preference. It's not something you have to do. I I was just kind of like in a hurry to finish the classes, the, the lectures. And I, I didn't want to um, do the labs at the time because I thought it would take, take my time, take more time. So what I did was I went back. Um, so so for, for some labs, I thought we were a bit um com complex and the, a bit complex and labs i thought i needed to 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 do hands on i did them after after i've completed the course i went back and did those labs so the next thing i did were the practice questions and there's a practice exam at the end of the course for i decided again just a preference i decided to skip the practice exam at the end of the course and first of all go we'll do the practice questions in this lab so we can quickly take uh, a look. You can see my, at my first attempt, I got a 64%. Then 
I took and uh, did an I did a correction and did another ten for like about eighty three percent, and then finally, I did it one more time and I got a ninety three percent. So at that point, I was like, "Yeah, I'm ready for the exam." So yeah, if you can see from the report, one thing I like about the Wiz Labs practice questions is the fact that it looks like it looks much like what you're especially in the exam, although some of the questions in the exam are quite uh, longer and a bit uh, a bit of a longer read, but these questions are kind of are close to it, actually. I, I believe if, if you study, the, um, do the Wiz Labs practice questions and you actually not just cram the answers, but actually know, um, understand the reason reasoning behind the answers and why the answers are so then you should be ready for the exam. And also because of the explanations they give after every question as well. So that's um one another thing that I really like about with large practice questions. I basically use this for my solutions architect um, exam as well. And they were also very helpful to me. This is also where the white papers came in um, handy because when maybe I didn't understand the, the explanation in for the um that we lab gives for the answers i could go to, i could use the white papers as a reference to um to better understand what the answer was so yeah i, I ensured that i wasn't just remembering what the answer was on, in this lab but i actually understood why the answer was so so i that's why i after after doing the exam back to back i, I took a break to ensure that i wasn't just remembering the answer but i actually understood it so after that i came back after about couple of days to do the the practice exams again and this time it was already very close to the close to my um exam date i came back to do the practice exams again um to to be sure that i understood the understood the questions and i knew the answers not just not that i was cramming the answers and um yeah when i came back the second time and i was getting about um uh, still in my scores were still in the 90s i was um uh, kind of yeah i was Conf more confident. So finally, after going through the Wiz Labs questions three times for each of them, I went back to the course and did the actual um, practice exam at the end of the course. So for the first attempt, I got a, an 80%. And after reviewing the corrections and redoing it, I got a 95%. So yeah, that, with that, I, was, I thought I was quite ready and I went to sit for the exam. Okay, so finally, what are some tips I would give to anyone that wants to write the exam as well? Um, okay, first tip is the AWS Solutions Architect Associate. I already have the certification and I already have the knowledge basically for that certification. And I believe that helped me um, to better understand the material for this exam and also to pass it. So if you're someone that doesn't have the certification, I would advise, even if you're not gonna get it, get a course and. Free, either you watch a free course on YouTube or get a course on Udemy or whatever platform and just go through the material as well. Especially if you're not someone that already works in the club, um, go through the material, understand the material before you go into this material because it's, it's, I'm sure having that knowledge can give you, um, I believe having that knowledge can help in understanding the questions better. And uh, yeah, basically. And number two tip I'll give is to know the services that are covered on that. If you look at the, the, the exam guide, you'll see a list of the services that are covered for this exam. And I want you to, I would, I would advise that you know each of the services and what they do. And um, so especially for services where they have similar um, function, you need to know how to differentiate between those two services. When, for example, there's, an, there's a question where those two services are in, in, the, in the options as the answer, you need to know how to differentiate between those two services. For example, CloudWatch and CloudTrail. You need to know that CloudTrail is for um, API activity and CloudWatch is um, basically for events. Yeah, so, so so for services basically that sometimes can have similar functions, you need to know how to differentiate between two of them um, for answer, in answers. Um, another example is parameter, parameter store and Secrets Manager, you need to know the difference between those two as well. Yeah, so third tip um, 
and this might be just something very personal but one thing i noticed is that i noticed was that many questions on my exam were from kms i am and also cloud trail and um so these are those are three topics i would really advise that you really understand um because yeah a lot of questions came out in those three topics for my exam and um yeah i think this is just a repeat of what i said um you need to know how to separate when two services can perform similar similar um functions you need to know how to separate them and what what the what the actual difference between those two services are yeah so yeah those are a few tips um that i think if you do um follow they will help with, with you being very um being successful in this exam and um yeah they helped me as well so i wish you success as you as you prepare for the exam um thanks for watching again do like and subscribe if this is helpful to you to support my channel and i'll see you in the next video